Please welcome our next presenter, an activist, an actor, a reality television personality, a public speaker, and a published author, Riken Lemkul. Wow, um, <clears throat> I want to thank everyone again for being here. It's so nice to see such a diverse crowd of people, and it makes me feel really good personally that the LGBT community has so many straight allies, and it's obvious here tonight, and supporters, especially of the foundation. Um, I was so happy when uh, I got called by the foundation to come and do this. One, because... Um, I've been on a lecture tour for like a month, uh, speaking at colleges and universities and companies about don't ask, don't tell, letting people know why it's wrong. And in every one of these lectures, someone asks a question about bullying of LGBT youth, and I end up talking about that. So it's been on my mind, and it's been heavy on my heart. I was bullied as a kid. It sucked. I had nowhere to go. When I was at the Air Force Academy as a cadet my sophomore year, I was pulled out of my bed in the middle of the night by two other cadets. I had a bag put over my head and they beat the crap out of me and told me that the academy didn't need another faggot there. <clears throat> and the other reason that I'm glad to be here and to be able to address these issues is that I am able to do this for a really dear friend of mine named Udi Bear. Um, yeah. Udi is my, my complete definition and example of straight ally. And um, as he reminded me tonight, and he reminded me from the first time I met him, it's what we leave behind in this world for humanity that matters most and not what we're doing for ourselves. And I love that I have a friend like him who reminds me of that. Uh, I met him because I did a little modeling job for Love and Pride, and we went to dinner, and I told him that I had just written a book about my time as a cadet at the Air Force Academy, living under Don't Ask, Don't Tell in secret, and he said, we're going to make a jewelry line, and we're going to make it support the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and we're going to give 10% of all the gross proceeds to fight the ban, and I couldn't believe it. And he said, and you, Riken, are going to design the line, and you're going to help us every step of the way. And now we have this Fly Naked collection, which is super successful, and we give 10% to fight the van. And I just want to thank you so much for all that. <laughs> Without saying any more about Udi, um, you need to watch this video that explains Udi and his company his baby, love and pride. It's fitting that the genesis of love and pride was in New York, the city that welcomes the world, where everyone is considered equal. The city where gay rights made a stand, made its mark, and has made irresistible progress. Designer Udi Bear made it his home almost 20 years ago, and he has become a passionate New Yorker. I live in a family in Tribeca, very close to the World Trade Center. I survived three wars in Israel, but I never, ever seen anything like that. Udi's conviction grew to create something that reflected the better angels of our nature. The Love, Peace, and Hope Jewelry Collection, which, in turn, as the political climate in the country altered, became the beginning of love and pride. I began thinking, how can we fight a war for freedom outside and deny people the freedom to marry? Seeing the mayor of San Francisco stand up for that right on TV really moved me. Love and Pride. Two words with a multitude of meanings, but only one strong core belief. Love is love. Men's kind or women's kind, most astonishing gift. A very best quality. The law can't put limits on that. The result is a jewelry collection inspired by the qualities that provide its name. 
a collection at the heart of an exclusive new online destination for the gay and lesbian community, where 10% of every purchase goes to Marriage Equality USA. Whether you're sharing news, stories, discussing issues, or discovering ways to celebrate your commitment, the time is now, more than ever, to show your love and pride. Yeah, Udi's a strong man. I mean, he's a former paratrooper turned jewelry designer and, and counter, counterintelligence soldier. I love that because I was in the military. Um, his collections have been, uh, he's, he's made collections for the L Word, like series on HBO like True Blood and uh, Dexter. And um, he's had all these celebrities wearing his jewelry like Elton John and Ringo Starr and Cyndi Lauper and T.R. Knight and Sharon Stone. and. Paris Hilton and Britney Spears, but more important than any celebrity wearing his line, he created this erase hate pendant, um, and these are for sale here tonight. This is what they look like. Um, they're beautiful. And um, the coolest part about them is uh, he's sold 5,000 of these in 40 countries worldwide, and his goal is to sell a million <laughs> of these. And just so you know, 100% of the sale of these go to the Matthew Shepard Foundation. I mean, you don't need any more of an introduction, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Um, please welcome uh, to the stage, Udi Bear. Thank you. The Essential Peace Award is given on behalf of the Matthew Shepard Foundation to individuals and corporations that have been an essential piece in helping the foundation achieve its mission of, mission of replacing hate and understanding with understanding, compassion, and acceptance. And it's with great honor that I present to you, my dear friend, and a passionate advocate for gay rights, uh, the winner of the 2010 Bear to Make a Difference Essential Peace Award, the creator of Love and Pride, Mr. Udi Bear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let me see if I can read it without glasses. I get old. I can, I think. Hold on. Do I have it? Do I have it? I run to the hotel and bring like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Peace is my dream. Love is my tool. Hope is my fuel. It means the world to me to be here among you, a room full of people committed to cause of replacing hate with understanding, compassion, and acceptance. The goal of this organization are the principle by which I have always tried to live my life, to identify injustice and replace it with hope. I moved from a war-filled Israel to the United States, wanting to build a family in a peaceful, tolerant, accepting society. I am still here 27 years later, as passionate as ever. My whole mission was ignited with much stronger force when nine years ago, on a bright September morning, a love, a love changed forever. One of the biggest hate crimes I ever witnessed occurred in my city. That was a turning point for me as a man, as a friend, as a father, and as a part of society. I knew I had to use every tool I have to preach and practice my strong belief. From that day forward, I made it my duty to spread love, peace, and hope. Teaching the idea that we must erase hate and embrace tolerance, acceptance, equality for all mankind. This is the greatest, most rewarding responsibility I can take about myself. Unfortunately, we are faced with many, many tragic events in our life, and the story of Matthew Shepard is one that deeply affected me. I was angry, I was sad, I was confused, and could not understand where all this hate came from and why. And that's what brings me here tonight, a pendant 
they raised I attended for the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Jewelry design merged with support to the LGBT right began for me in 2005 when I launched loveandpride.com, the first iron jewelry brand with commitment to original design a commitment to value of equality and diversity and commitment to, to a community we serve. With 10% of the net proceed supporting an organization focused on equal rights and marriage equality for the LGBT community. This wasn't enough. I wanted to do more. I wanted to be a voice in this fight. And th in that year, in December, in a store in Denver, I met, and anybody that knows me knows Dennis Dorothy. Five minutes took me to understand I want to be part of this man's life. That desire took the shape of the Erase Aid pendant that, w that I was able to share with Judy, Dennis, Logan, and the Matthew Shepard Foundation. The, pe the pendant tells the story of the foundation. It tells the story of the understanding, compassion, and acceptance, a story of desire to erase hate. But it's more than about the design and the message. It was important that the pendant helped the foundation to do good work. We choose to donate 100% of the whole net proceed to the Matthew Shepard Foundation, and over 5,000 individuals are now wearing the Erase Aid pendant and are part of the Matthew Shepard family, shared with 40 countries, and some countries, uh, countries like Kuwait and Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, and of course, United States, Europe, Western world. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight is a big honor, I must say. A lot of people share this with me. I could not accomplish it with my family that is here with me tonight, my wife and my daughter. Unfortunately, my son is away. Without my partners, especially my partner in Lebanon, that this is his award as much as mine, and the Love and Pride team. And of course, all of you there who are are supporting and wearing the Matthew Shepard pendant. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a little crazy. They call me the optimist, they call me a dreamer, they call me many other names. But I must agree, I am a little crazy. I'm optimist in my dream that we can sell one million pendants and be able to give 100% of this proceed to the Matthew Shepard Foundation to help Judy, Dennis, Logan, and the entire Matthew Shepard Foundation team accomplish the mission and teach our kids all this important lesson. Today, with recent stories of intolerance and tragedy flooding the, the news with the increase in fear and mistrust, I believe it is most important that ever, than ever to wear a heart on a sleeve or around our neck. Unfortunately, many trage tragic events have taken place in the last couple of weeks, many in my own city, New York. And it gives me yet another push to fight harder for our cause. I wear this pendant to tell people where I stand. And thousands stand with me. Stand with all of us in this room and beyond to declare in one voice that we seek tolerance, compassion, and understanding. That there is better way than hate. In my mind, this is not my piece of word. This belongs to 5,000 people that bought this pendant and wear it with pride helping us reach our goal in spreading a message. Thank you, Matthew Shepard Foundation. In the name of love and pride, we want to do more. We will not stop until we get to the one million number. We only have 995,000 to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.